In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a handwriting text effect inside DaVinci Resolve. So let's get right into it. So I already have a timeline open and a B-roll waiting. And the first thing we're going to do is making sure our playhead is over our clip. We're going to head over to the Fusion page. And if you don't know what Fusion is, it's basically a composite software inside DaVinci Resolve. And Fusion is a node-based software, meaning that each of these squares here will apply a specific effect into our footage. And we have many types of nodes here. We have a background node, text node, paint node, mask nodes, and so on. So now we're going to drag and drop this text node here into our node tree like this. And we're going to connect this little output here into this output here of our media one. And as you can see, this merge node appeared. And what this node does is it basically connects two nodes together. Now we're going to drag this media out node into our viewer so we can see what we do. We're going to click on the text node and we're going to write handwriting like this. But let's use a more appropriate font. And for this effect, I like this one, Tahoo. Let's increase a little bit the size of the text like this. And in order to make our effect easier, let's increase the tracking a little bit, like this. Okay, so now we have this handwriting text over our video. And the next thing we're gonna do is, we're gonna click on our text node, we're gonna hit shift spacebar on the keyboard, and we're gonna look for a mask paint, like this. Now we just click on add, and it will automatically be applied to our text. And now we can see the text disappear. And to make it reappear, we have to click on the mask node, come here to mask, and then click on invert. Now we can see our text again. Next, we're going to click on this little brush here. We're coming to controls, stroke controls, and here where it says stroke animation, we're going to change it from all frames to right on. We'll come to brush controls. We're going to increase the size of the brush a little bit, so it's at least the size of our font, but it's better if it's a little bigger, like this. And we're going to pull down the soft until more or less 0.1, like this. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna click with the left button of the mouse and we're gonna slide the brush throughout the whole text. And what this will do is, it will generate keyframes that will mark our movements and make the effect happen. And you can do this with no rush at all, since we'll adjust the keyframes later. And a paramount thing is, don't drop the mouse button until you reach the end of the text, otherwise the effect will not happen. So let's begin. And now, as you can see, these keyframes appeared. And let's see how it goes. Okay, so it's actually the opposite of what we want. So we'll come to mask again and uncheck this invert button here, like this. And now, let's see how it goes. Okay, we're almost there. But as you can see, it's still too slow and the animation actually finishes after the video ends. So how do we fix that? We'll first come to keyframes, then we'll click on this arrow here where it says mask paint one. We'll click on stroke one and then we'll click on this double arrow here. This is the zoom to fit. This way we can see all the keyframes. Now we'll select all of them and they'll get yellow like this. We'll click with the right button of the mouse and then we we'll click on time stretching. Now when you see this arrow here, you can compress it until it gets like this. And if you click on the outside part and then clicking again on it, you can manipulate the keyframes and you can choose where the animation will start. And I'll choose somewhere at the beginning of the video, like this. Now let's see how it goes. And that's how you do a handwriting text effect inside DaVinci Resolve. And you can take as long as you want to perfect the effect. And if you liked this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments down below what type of videos you want me to make. And if you want to learn how to zoom inside DaVinci Resolve, make sure to check out this video showing on your screen right now and I'll see you there.